Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You came back. Have you ever done your top coat and it just turned out cloudy or wavy or just weird? That used to happen to me literally all of the time when I did my top coat. I would always have a spot that looked cloudy or like it would look like fingerprints even though I hadn't even touched it or I do touch it and then what do you do to fix it? I'm gonna show you how to do the perfect top coat. The thing that works for me every single time, no matter what top coat I'm using, unless it's a really bad top coat, in which case I do recommend getting a new top coat like Triple Vitamin or Virgo and Gem. That is step one, Triple Vitamin, Virgo and Gem. They're just really good top coats that are really, really hard to contaminate. They're really, really hard to do poorly. So if you're having a hard time with top coat, step one, get a good top coat. Um, step two, follow these instructions that I'm about to show you. I'm gonna leave the written instructions also in the description down below so you can copy paste it, leave it in your phone, or come back and look at it whenever you need to and not have to watch the whole video all the way through. I really hope this helps with your top coat and y'all can have just like perfectly shiny nails every single time. So if that is something that you're into seeing, go ahead and stick around and let's get into it. Okay the perfect top coat. I did my nails, I filed, I buffed. I've got this crazy summer neon bright thing going on. Got wildfire, bolt, lime, iris, and flamingo, all from Cascade Color Works, and I went like the opposite way on this hand. Um, and then I also have Virgo and Gems activator and top coat. These are my favorite. This way of doing top coat works for any brand's liquids at all. This is like my go-to, my one and only. I do it this way every time and my top coat turns out perfect nearly every time. I no longer ever, ever get those fuzzy, the like matte looking spots, you know, when you would do your top coat. I never get that anymore and this is the way I do it every single time. Most of the time it works out. If, I mean, sometimes I don't like the top coat, but you know, it, the, the application is appropriate. So, you want some lint-free wipes. I got these off Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And you also want something to set a two minute timer with. Um, hi. <laughs> so I have my phone here ready for a two minute timer. Okay, so first things first, what you wanna do with your, is take your activator. You wanna do one hand at a time. You absolutely do not wanna do both hands at a time. This is all about timing. So one hand at a time, I'm gonna start with this hand. You wanna take your activator and you just wanna paint on your activator. And I put on a nice layer of activator, but you wanna move quickly at this stage. Get your activator on there as quickly as you can. Just flop it all around on there. Wimbly bimbly, get it on there. All right, as soon as you have it on, set your two minute timer and go. Okay, as soon as your timer is over, you want to take your lint-free wipe and you want to wipe all around your fingers, making sure to get the side walls. You want to get the entire finger. Okay, and then just set your lint-free wipe down. And then you take your top coat. I want to make sure that I get not too much top coat on my brush, but I have enough top coat. This is all very time sensitive too. So I'm going to be moving a little quickly. So after you do that, you want to do your first pass to top coat. You want to do your top coat in three motions. One, two, three wipes on that first pass. And that is it. Wipe off your brush before returning it back to the bottle to get more top coat for your next pass. Again, three swipes to cover your whole nail. You don't want to do more than that. Wipe off your brush, back in the bottle. Three swipes. Wipe off your brush, back in the bottle. And I'm using very light pressure. I'm kind of letting the brush do all the work. I'm not like super like pushing it down like that, even though I just did show you guys. I'm like just letting the end just lightly dance over the nail. Three swipes, wipe it off. Kind of lightly, very gently, three swipes, wipe it off. OK, 
Okay, and when you come back around to do your second pass, do you see how it's kind of wavy? That means we're good to go for your second pass. Now your second pass of top coat, you can go a little bit slower. Take your time and kind of get, make sure you get the details and up around the sidewalls and all of that. I now tend to still do about three or four swipes for my whole nail. Still kind of using that very light pressure that I was using before. Not pushing down on my brush too hard, just kind of using the very tip of it and kind of using the same amount of liquid on my brush. When I dip into the bottle and I'm pulling back, I touched my top coat on that one, and I come back up, I just kind of boom, 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 boom on the sides and just there. That's just how much I have. I just kind of... And then just very light movement. And I don't wipe it off the second time around on a lint-free wipe. I don't find with Bergen Gem I need to. I still kind of do like three swipes, though you can take more time. I find that the brush kind of fans out enough that it kind of takes care of it for me. So I don't really need to. Now, don't mind my pointer finger because I touched the tip of it, but that is how you get a perfect top coat. Now, I will let that dry. I usually give it like two minutes, though I'm pretty sure it's probably already dry, but I just, to be sure myself, give it about two minutes to make sure it's completely dry, and then, yeah, I put on oil and you're good to go. Here's another thing I want to show you guys. I, my dumbass, touched that finger before it was done drying. So I want to show you what you do. If you do something like that, you can just take your buffer block and just very lightly buff, real quick, the nail you messed up. Nice and smooth again. I'm gonna take a nail brush. I usually use a smaller one, but I don't know where it is. And then you just do the whole process over again for that one nail. So I'm just gonna activate and wait two minutes. Right, and then you just take a lint-free wipe again and wipe it off. Take your top coat. As you can see, it's kind of shiny and that's just because of the top coat that's left on my nail from before. You just want to follow the exact same rules. Three quick swipes. Wipe your brush off. Now I'm going to wait a second. And see if it gets wavy because sometimes it won't because of the top coat you had on there before but most of the time it will it's starting to get wavy see that We want to make sure down at the bottom that we're being very careful because down there it looks like there was a little much. So we want to make sure that we don't put too much on the nail for this time around and we get it nicely evenly coated. And there you go. So what did you guys think of this video? Did you like this video? Do you like it when I focus on just the thing? I know I've asked you guys that before and some of you say yes and some of you say no. A lot of you say yes because why else would you have clicked on a video for top coat if you didn't want to see the top coat video, right? So, but uh, I really hope that you did enjoy this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. I hope that your top coat problems are a thing of the past and now you just have that perfect shiny top coat every single time. If you want to see me in other places, if you want to follow me, I do have my Instagram down below. I do have my dip powder group down below, which has so many amazing women in it with so much information. And just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. I've really found over my years of dipping that it is fluid and some things work better for some people and some things 
don't work at all for some people and that is okay and the link to all the products that i use are always down below for you guys too so a lot of information down in the description that is all i have for you this week you guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye does anyone know how you curl like both the sides of your hair in the same this is like two completely different looks like this one is like way curlier just look at this side of my face don't look at this side I was trying very desperately not to get lipstick on my straw, but that didn't work. I don't know what to do with my hands. This is like day five hair. I just don't wash it. I burnt my hand twice doing my hair. I got two new kittens. Oh my God. I got two kit. I got kittens. I'd bring them up here and show you guys, but I just got them a couple of days ago and I'm really like trying to let them acclimated to the house before I start like picking them up and showing them off. But I will show you my kittens eventually very soon. They're so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I'll put up pictures of them right here. Their names are Oliver and Eleanor, and they are literally the cutest thing ever. They're so adorable. They're so energetic. They're so frisky. They're so crazy. I just want to, like, make a video of them, like, hopping around everywhere and use that sound from the office. The parkour, parkour, parkour. You know that? That's, like, oh, my God. When I watched that intro to that episode of The Office, I laughed so hard. I nearly peed my pants. Yeah, I got a really long drive, guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skedaddle. Catch you next week. Kept you, catch you on the flippity floppity floopity floopy. By the way, I just real quick want to tell you, if you don't get wildfire, like literally the camera can't even pick it up. It's so bright. I love this color. This is like, I don't know. It might be one of my favorite colors of the colors that were, that we came out with right now. Anyways, wait till our next release. They're my favorite.